Well, hello everybody, Michael and Karen Crichton here from St. Clement's Mossman. It is great to be able to bring you this greeting. As you can see behind us, the church is empty, but we are hoping come Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, there'll be many who will join us here, perhaps you. But just in case you're already away and you're not gonna be able to make it uh, because you're with family and friends elsewhere, we wanted to bring you a special greeting at this special time of the year. I'm sure along with us, you agree that we're living in times of great uncertainty and anxiety and a fair degree of frustration as well as there's this new outbreak of COVID and this variant Omicron, potentially overwhelming us, but we'll have to wait and see. In such times as this, it is good to focus on Jesus' birth and the everlasting hope that he brings to us. A reading from the prophet Micah foretold the coming of the Messiah who was to be born in Bethlehem. In chapter five, verse two of Micah, it says, but you Bethlehem, though you are small among the clans of Judah, out of you will come for me one who will rule over Israel, whose origins are from of old, from ancient times. And Bethlehem was to have a special place in the plans and purposes of God uh, in his plans for salvation. Now, the name Bethlehem, you might not realise, actually means house of bread. So it really has this idea of fertility and fruitfulness in the plans of God. And you, I'm sure you also realise that Jesus, the one born in the manger in Bethlehem, said in his ministry, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry. Whoever believes in me will never go thirsty. And so as we sit down to celebrate the birth of Jesus this Christmas, I trust you'll be able to do that with family and friends and those you love and are very near to you. And you'll be able to do that over a lovely lunch or a dinner or perhaps even both as you enjoy all the lovely trimmings of Christmas, the turkey and the ham and what other flavours you like depending on your culture. And as you do that, let me encourage you to pause and consider Jesus, the one born in the manger, the one born to die for us so that we might have life, consider him, for he is the bread of life, the only one who can truly feed our souls and satisfy our deepest desires for peace and joy. And as people who have embraced the Messiah, the one born in Bethlehem, the prophet Micah also tells us how we should live as we know the Lord Jesus and in light of this wonderful news. So Michael, Micah chapter six, verse eight says, he has shown you, O mortal, what is good and what does the Lord desire of you, require of you to act justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. Friends, what a joy it is for us to know the savior who has come to rescue us. And as we represent Jesus to a needy community, may it be that we are people who act justly to walk humbly before our God and to love mercy, just as our Saviour Jesus did. Well, finally, before we sign off, we wanted to extend a big thank you to all of you. Uh, you've been very supportive and loving for, uh, towards us this past year, and words can't express our true thankfulness to you all. But we do want to particularly thank Andy and Beck and Viv and Yvonne in the office. What a great team we've had. We're working well together and uh, just a great blessing for us to serve with them and to serve you. We also wanted to say a big thank you to our wardens and parish council. You know who they are and uh, it's been a joy to work with them as well and we've seen some great things happen this past year. Also want to say thank you to our growth group leaders who serve faithfully week by week in sharing and unfolding God's word with you. Thank you also to our children's and youth leaders and those who serve with them. Again, you know who you are. What a great job you've done this year and how God has best blessed that ministry under Beck's leadership. And to anyone else who has served, and we know there's many of you in a whole variety of other ways, whether large or small, we just want to say thank you so much for honouring Christ and serving as you have. Mm. As a friend of ours in India often says, church isn't somewhere you go, it is somewhere that you belong. So thank you for making us feel that we belong here at St. Clement's, our new church family. And we really do look forward to the new year where together we will serve uh, making Jesus known. So happy Christmas, everyone. Happy Christmas. God bless. God bless.